Uh, Bortle here, and we have a special guest today, guys. We have back-to-back -back LCS champion himself. Please introduce yourself to the world, man. Uh, hey, what's up? My name is Arikado, aka Astral, or in real life, Charlie Engel. And I won this week's 3v3 LCS with my, both of my teammates. Um, Satan Spirit in 88, he was playing Invoked. And Farkion, he was playing PK. And you decided to use your bird deck again, so why'd you choose to run the deck again, man? Yeah, I mean, as I already said last profile, I think this deck is just the best deck of the format, like, by far. I think this deck's super amazing, and it's definitely the best deck. So I just played it, because I think it's really good. Well, uh, are there any shoutouts you like to do before we start the actual deck profile, man? Yeah, for sure. Shoutouts to my team, Iman Games. Shoutouts to both of my teammates, obviously, they were really great. Shoutouts to Ryan Yu, and shoutouts to all of my friends. Sweet, without further ado, please take away with the rest of the deck profile. Okay, so, um, we can already see we have, like, the three Turquoise Wobbler again. Pretty standard, I mean, it's the best card of the deck. It's the starter. Um, three Cobalt Sparrows, three Barrow Canary, three Celestine Wagtail, and two Sapphire Swallows. So, um, three Cobalt and three Celestine, I played those again. Uh, because I just wanted to draw them. I think they play around hand traps very well. I was hardly considering like just playing two of the Celestine Wagtail, but decided to play three in the end because of I also played Desires, so I just didn't really want to banish it. Three Barrow Canary is pretty standard. It's just the card's so amazing. Like it's it's a one card exceeds essentially. It's super good. And then uh two Sapphire Swallows, because this card isn't as great as, as everything else. Like it kind of needs something else to play because it does not have an effect on its own. So only two by that, but it's still like really nice. Um, only playing one would be like a bit too few because I play Desires. So I think two is really good. And then I still played three Bird Call. I mean, this card's absolutely amazing still. There, like nothing changed there. This card's insanely busted. And then just like the one, one for one, just for like a bit consistency. It summons out Cobalt or Celestine or Nerval, obviously, and it triggers them and gives you some advantage. So I really like this overall. It was pretty good. And then for the Tri Brigade part of the deck, I played three Fractals. Three Nervals, one Kit, and one Keras. And I actually did not play the Oath in the main deck this time. Because I figured that people... Like, the, the meta kind of shifted from a more board breaker stylish type of play to a more hand trap controlish type of play. Where Oath isn't really needed. Like, you only need Oath against these hard, like, breaker cards like Dark Ruler or Droplets. Which people kind of stopped maining. So, if you can get away with not playing Oath in your main deck... This deck gets way better because Desires is better than Smallwood overall. Like, it's just better. Smallwood goes minus one and then Desires goes plus one. It's really good. Um, so yeah, I didn't play out in the main deck for this time. Uh, it was a pretty good call. I could make my deck like a bit more consistent. It was pretty good. So like, for the Tri-Brigade kind of stuff, I think everything is pretty standard. Um, I just played like the one kit. It's just kind of there because I can like, if I brick really hard and I only have Fractal, I can at least make like a Simorg and pass on that. So like Kit isn't really needed in this deck because I don't play Oath in the main deck, but it's still like kind of nice. I would personally still play it. I have three Desires, which is like, um, yeah, I mean, I kind of talked about this already. Yeah. Uh, it's really good. Just like, it's just a plus one essentially. And there's not that many cards which you don't want to banish. There's only like the Apex Avian, which always kind of hurts if you banish it. Um, but like it's, it's it's still fine. It's still okay. Did Desires ever hit any of your kits oh. or Keras? Yeah, I mean, of course, like Desires. Yeah, I mean, Desires hits like hit Keras and Kit really often, but it's like still fine. Like Keras is kind of sad when it's gone if you're going second, because that's where Keras mainly comes up. But if you're going first, like it does, it's never a really big issue because I mean, this deck is more like a bird deck than a tri brigade deck, so it's usually not that big of a deal. Yeah, so I played three desires. I think this card was great. Um, if you don't main oath, this card's insane. I think. Then I played the one tanky again, just for opening fractal every game. The card's really good. And then I played the apex avian as my target for some org. Obviously, I mean, I think this is better than statue. Already said this in my last profile. I think apex avian is really strong to like negate mystic mind and stuff like that. Yeah. And then for the going second cards, I played three imperm. Three droplets and three lockbirds. So I think Imperm is one of the strongest cards against the like Lyrilus Tri Brigade deck. And it's also very nice against Invoked because you can hold it for Maximus and stuff and not get winded. So Imperm definitely performed very, very well. Um the three droplets, I mean it's just droplets, right? Like it's so good against any established board. And yet again, people don't play Oath anymore. So if you're like in a mirror match and you have droplets, you're actually looking pretty fine. And then I played the three Lockbirds because, I mean, yeah, it's just, it's it's drawn Lockbird, right? Like, if you play against Invoked or if you play against Birds, this card's so amazing to have. It makes them end on, like, way less stuff. Yeah, so I just played these. Um, I didn't play Gamma this time because I wanted to play Hand Traps. 
which are like always live when I go first. Since I do not play oath, like it can happen that my board gets broken. So I want to have like a hand trap in like my hands to be able to win the game still. Uh, which is why I didn't play Gamma because it's obviously dead if you have an established board. Yeah, and then that's it for my deck list. Clean 40 cards. I mean, the main deck. Yeah, man, perfect 40 right there, dude. Uh, would you like to run down the extra deck? Yeah, for sure. Um, so the extra deck didn't really change from last time. Uh, we still have the Zeus package of Zeus and Downard. This was, yet again, really good. I mean, playing Downard is just pretty standard, pretty good. Uh, the one Nightingale, the one Robin, and the two Recital Starlings. Um, if you want to, like, if you prefer three Recital Starlings, I totally get that. The card's really nice, um, but I think two is enough, and I wanted to play a second Shireg over it, so I just played two. Um, then the F-Zero package, this, those guys are also, like, really nice, um, just negating hand traps and stuff, letting you play your turn, really good. Uh, yet again, the Al Mirage, just for weird hands, being able to play the game. Uh, double Dragon Lords, standard, one Tri Brigade Farajit. Um... As I already said, I would love to play two, but I just can't find the space. So it's still just one. Then the Simorg. That card's so broken, honestly. The Simorg card is so amazing. That card's so broken. Like, it, it won me the finals, like, almost on its own. It's so amazing. And then the double Shurik. I mean, I think two is just correct because it helps you a lot against back row decks. It's a really big push, and it's just really good overall. And then the last card, Appalooza. Um, it comes up, and when you when you open, like, when you start with a Tri-Brigade, summon Farajit, and then summon a bird from your hand, you ideally want to go up a loser because it plays around Nibiru. Because if you go for Apex, then you just get Nibiru, and you kind of lose. So I still played up a loser. It was pretty good. Yeah, that's it for the extra deck. So for the side deck, um, we have the broken card, Heartbeat Featherstorm again. Uh, I still think this card is absolutely broken. It's as I thought. It's so insane. I mean, this card just wins game, games on its own. And whenever I drew it, I won the game. Wow, shockers. <laughs> to be fair, I only did draw it like two times though, but it was really good. And then I'm actually siding the Tri Brigade Oath. Uh, because, yeah, I mean, people don't main deck board breakers anymore, but they still do side droplets and stuff like that, and Mystic Mines. Um, and it's just like one side deck slot, so why wouldn't you side it, you know? Like in game three, you can just Oath combo them, which is really strong. I actually never Oath combo them because I, like in game three, I always got interrupted or something happens. Or I didn't go to game three. But it was just there and it was like really good, I think. I, I think I would play it inside deck. I think it's correct. Um, then just like a bit of back right, three twin twisters. I actually played against like three Eldritches um this uh, tournament, which was like way more than I expected. So I would have loved to have like a bit more back row removal, but you can't really fit it in there because this meta is like so combo heavy, you have to play a lot of hand traps. I think twin is just the best back row removal because not a lot of people play PK, so you don't have to play cosmic. To like out their scythe so you can actually play twin twisters which is really good i mean yeah performed really well can't really say too much about it really good then three nibirus uh, i think that nibiru is the best hand trap if you have like a, a second hand trap nibiru is always so amazing like if you have an imperm or like a gamma with it nibiru just always breaks their board so this card is really insane and then through gamma because i mean it's gamma i think gamma is just super amazing in the meta but i didn't want to main it because of the going first factor and then for the last card, I cited one DD Crow, which I was thinking about maining, since it's a winged beast, you can like add it with Recital or your Cobalt. But I still chose against it because I don't think it comes up a lot, and you need like a really good hand to be able to end in Crow. So I just cited it. It was um, fine. It, I drew it like once or twice. It was pretty good. Jeez, man, winning another LCS back to back. That's that's just insane. Do you uh, recall your guys' uh, overall records, like personal record in the 3v3? So I think I went x2 okay I, i'm not actually sure what my teammates went i, I think i went x2 though okay yeah. oh, no it's all good man you guys won the whole thing <laughs> so <laughs> that's just crazy man and uh thank you so much for the explanations uh proving that pot of desires uh it's, it's pretty good man it says draw two yeah i mean it just says draw two it's just desire it's just like pot of greed it's really good yeah yeah that's sweet uh thank you so much for being on the channel again yeah thank you for having me on the channel again no problem. And listeners, if you're not a part of Bortle Nation, suffer Bortle. It's that easy and it's free. Oh, God, yes. Bortle out.